You know why? Well, you don't have the guts to be what you want to be. You need people like you. Take your knife to the bad guy. production i'm back with another banger for you guys but today we're not going to be using my f studio we're not going to be in my house we are going to over we are going to visit <laughs> so somebody sent me a video on whatsapp saying that um why is it that when they are watching other tutorials show they they, they know how to make a beat but they can follow along when someone is making a beat and today we are going to fix that problem our first contentants um the first person we are going to visit is not other than the greatest, the legend himself of Ama Piano, who gives the best tutorial called JB Music. Wow, this guy is hit, guys. Yeah, man, I love what he's doing. Great job. Uh, even his beats hit hard. No lie. Yeah, he's been putting a lot of you guys on. And yeah, man, if, 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 if you on his channel and you are watching my channel, bro, there's no need to hate, bro. You gotta extend, you gotta when you know, you gotta go out and get news. Yeah, but on this tutorial, we are going to be entering is that he didn't speak much, he was just making the beat. What else we are going to do is watch the watch, watch the beat and then I'm gonna explain what he's doing. So yeah man, uh guys like, comment, subscribe, let me know bro. Come on, guys. Alright, 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 so he's got the drum going on already. So we're going to, yeah, 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 just watch him cook up the drums a bit. And then we're going to move on by the cross. Because you know when it's a, when it's a sticks and Kelvin normal type beat, you already know what's going to happen. There's some code that we need to go in and to fast. So that's why we're here, boys. Yeah. And he's using Large and Lisa. You see, Large and Lisa is one of the greatest Large and Lisa in the industry. So, okay, let's start with the first thing, the first problem that we need to identify here is that the first problem we need to identify here is what scale is he using. You get me? That's what that's the first thing you wanna do when you're watching the tutorial because you are not gonna learn anything if you don't know what scale is you using. You're not gonna learn anything if you don't understand what is doing there in the scale. So I'm going to explain, I'm going to help you know. So now this how do i know what is the scale guys firstly you can see the root note here is g sharp that's number one okay sharp the next thing what you need to do is that you 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 start now thinking ne? which scale can it be can it be a major scale there's two scales that is normally used commonly all the time one major scale and the minor scale so how do you know if it's a major scale or a minor scale bro you what you do is like you check you, you gotta check you need to know how to check the scale and i'm going to help you the first thing you start from the root node how do you know it's a major a major is a whole step whole step half step yeah whole step whole step whole step half step yeah that's what it is whole step whole step half step once you have those two just whole step whole step half step don't know what i'm going to explain what i'm talking about then what i mean by whole step whole step half step meaning whole step Whole step. Let me go and show you in my in my in, in my thing. Let me go and show you. I'm going to quickly show you what I'm talking about. Eh? Yeah, I'm going to choose the same scale that is using G sharp. Uh, okay, I'm going to use C because C is simple. You see what I mean by whole step, whole step, uh, major. What I mean by whole step, whole step, half step. This is what I mean. Whole step, whole step, half step. So you see that we moved, we moved to get to D. We moved the whole step. We we skipped this one. You understand we skip d sharp ne? to get to d then to get to e we also skip another whole step meaning we're skipping a whole note you understand we skip a whole note and then to get to f we didn't skip anything so it's called what half step you understand 
Yeah, bro. That's what I'm talking about. So, how to identify something is a major or a minor scale. You use this thing whole step, whole step, half step. That's how you identify. So, the minor one is whole step, half step. Yeah, whole step, half step. So, this is what I'm talking about. Whole step, half step. This is what is happening, guys. I'm giving you music theory now for you guys to know. A whole step, half step. It means, you see, here, I skip a whole step. I'm skipping C sharp. This note, I'm skipping. But then when it comes to t-sharp i don't skip it so it's what half step so write it down the for major it's whole step whole step whole step like you're gonna skip a whole step you're gonna skip a whole note ne? two whole notes whole step whole step and then half step and then now for the minor one you're gonna say whole step half step now let's go and see what scale is using using the theory i've just given you guys so now I'm gonna start here because this is the root note and go up. You can see it's a whole step, whole step, half step. So it's not a major scale. Is it a major? No, it's not a major scale. It's all whole step, half step. So this is where in G minor. Boom. That's how you find the scale of the producer that is using whatever the scale is using. That's how you do it, bro. Now, nah? so let's continue. And before we move on, I want to say if you wanna get because this is a Kevel Kevel Momo type it, what you wanna do is that you wanna have four notes playing. That makes it uh, more. I gonna say uh, it makes it more private. It makes it a private piano. So if you wanna make a private piano, you need to have four notes playing. Okay, let's move on. So, if if you can see, if you can see, let me add it to zoom down. Okay, I'm gonna show you. You see that the a, this A is placed in here. It's not in the scale. Why is it not in the scale, guys? The scale is the highlighted one. Where is highlighted? This is highlighted. This is highlighted. This is highlighted. Highlight, highlight. That's what you're gonna play in, boys. That's where you. That's where you practice. That's where you. You do everything. You don't go in these black notes where it's not highlighted. That's just telling you like this is not in the scale. But he's putting this, and I'm going to explain it why it's so powerful. The reason why it's so powerful to use this note. You can see, this is the root note. Né? This is the half step of the root note, meaning it's just the second. It's the neighbor note. So it's a borrowed note. So borrowed note. I'm. Um, they bring tension to the chord. You understand? That's why it's gonna sound good when he adds other notes on there because it's a borrowed note. It needs to bring tension. That's why private piano sounds so good. You know, it's that tension that is in it. So let's move on. Now all the notes, all the notes, all the other notes are where guys that in the scale. That in the scale buffer. That's it. Let's move on. Did it go? Where did it go? You went to you went to G sharp. You see, because A is a neighbor to G sharp. You understand? That's what I'm saying, guys. I hope you guys understood. Me. All right, guys. I'm gonna. I think this is all the chords gonna do. We're gonna end our chords. So we have to move because it's like ten minutes, and I know you guys don't watch till the end. Eh? Mm -hmm. Another one. Do you guys see this? Wait, let me drop this thing down, guys. Now, do you guys see this? Now, put it here. Do you guys see this? That also, this D5, this D here, is a neighbor to this note. That's why it's gonna sound good to bring tension.
right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So you can see that you copy the same node paste here, but you can see he added B and A. These are so this should be the basis nodes because remember in the beginning our base node was B. You understand? But now the reason why this B the here is not A sharp A, it's A sharp because it can't play that A cannot play in octave. It's gonna sound so horrible. So to cover up, it's gonna stay in the key. So he's gonna rather put A sharp. Ne? All right, guys, let's move. <laughs> How many units did it go down? You guys tell me. How many units did it go down? Because I'm always explaining this. How many units? One, two, three, four. But if we did it in the reverse, we're gonna say one, two, three, four. I always explain this, so it's still D sharp. Why? Why is the fourth note so powerful, guys? Let me know in the comment. Why is the fourth note so powerful? Eh? Just guess. It's fine. Just guess. If you guys it right, I'm going to drop a drum kit. If you guess it right, I'm dropping the drum kit. If you guess it wrong, I bro, we'll see what we'll do. <laughs> Guys, if you ever seen this dragon before, I just these ones are not play. Yeah, I have to think we have plugins. Turns out here we have more plugins. Gents, nah, 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 gents. Ah, look at these, bro. This, look at the, look how organized is this, bro. Basses, drums, facts, keys, leads, beds, plugs, squares, synth, other library. Bro, nah, this bro is making hits for days, bro. No cap. It's gonna go. If you subscribe to my channel, what you're telling me is that Max, I'm always gonna view your stuff, no matter what. So we had a complaint last week that I didn't post anything, bro. I posted like three videos last week. The problem is that some of you guys didn't uh, didn't subscribe like this, and also what you need to do now is all. Don't say personalize all, my brother. That's what you do, bro. You get me? So you do that, man. You do that for me, and yeah. So um. And also like, like this. And also what you do is that you come and hit a comment here. Ne? I'm going to hit a comment after I watch. So guys, don't subscribe to my channel if you don't want to come back. Please, let's not disrespect the chat. Don't disrespect me like that. No, bruh. You're giving me false hope when you subscribe that you're going to come. I'm like, by today I'm going to have 1,000 subscribers because I've got 1,000 uh, 1, views because I've got 1,000 subscribers. I'm having 10 views. Uh, guys, don't disrespect me, please. So let's move in. Eh? We're going to watch. Let's see what is cooking, guys. Uh, wait, give me a minute. I'm going to tell you guys now. It's not hard to make melodies, bro. Watch the, this guy. I'm going to guarantee you. This guy is only going to use this highlighted note this notes which are brighter this is not which are bright which are light now you see there's dark ones and light what you need to do if you're making a melody stay in the light ones this light one 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 that's what you do bro and you're gonna be okay so let's watch him do it and you're gonna see it's only gonna stay there See my chest. 
like if not on your chord you have to go and remove the lows right yeah the lows of the, of the chord which you have so yeah i'll put it there You had to play A, bro. You had to play A. Otherwise, if you didn't play A, I ah, nah, bro. I don't want to sound good. So you had to play A because G, yes, but A is needs to play because it's a borrowed note. So yeah, guys, let's move on. Let's move on. We're going to find out what scale is going to use to freestyle because guys it's also important to know what scale is using to freestyle now remember what i told you there's two scales that you can use to freestyle either you're gonna use pentonic major pentonic a minor pentonic or major pentonic or you're gonna use other blues right so we are going to figure out and in both in this all these things i'm telling you the major and the minor pentonic and uh, the blues there's only one note one note that is different one note and i'm not kidding bruh it's one note one that makes it different and that note is not part of the scale so we are going to figure it out which note is not part of the scale and it's playing so let's go Part, the part that, that, that those two notes played, it looks like that note was not part of the scale. I don't know, Chad, let me know. But that's the thing. That's the thing. Wow, nah, nah. Chance, if you know how to edit video like this, let me know, Chad. Let me know, bruv. I also want someone to edit for me like this. This is neat, bruv. No lie.
thing to, to take in consideration you can see he has uh, increased this to a certain amount of percentage this helps the local drum to be active even the melodies to be a bit back bit active ne? Presets, but buffets, yes, too much log drum presets. But of course, it's crazy, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. So it's freestyling. stuff ends here if you want to watch the whole tutorial you can see the title is here uh, private school piano cookup sunday sticks whatever, whatever and his name is jb music he's a great guy not gonna lie he makes bangers yeah one day we we we, we, we will meet and we might collaborate on something good and yeah you guys will see us even yeah we'll, we'll do it so uh guys please keep in mind that um I will be dropping a drum kit this week. I'm saying this at the end of the video because I know a lot of you slackers don't watch at the end of the video. So this is a hint for those ones, guys. And I'm, let me even tell you guys the password. The password is you guys rock. That's the password. Together, no capital letters. You guys rock. That's the password. If you know the password, you watch till the end. You will know. You will know the password. So I don't want nobody to be asking me about the password when I drop the drum kit. Ne? But I feel like it's unfair. Okay, it's fine guys. So um you guys watch till the end. I really appreciate y'all. Thank you guys. If you have reached this far, it means you are one of my biggest fans and I do appreciate you. And man, thank you so much for giving me the likes, the comment, and for sharing. Yeah, man. See you in the next one. Next production, the double OG out.